Hi, I'm Phoebe Jessup. Northampton High School is known for providing students with incredible arts opportunities. One of these opportunities is the Northampton Chamber Choir, an audition-based class that runs during the spring semester every year. The group features many members of the Northamptons, the NHS a cappella group. Choral director Bo Flahai have created both groups 15 years ago and still brings the same enthusiasm to class every day. Although both groups are audition-based, the Northamptons and Chamber Choir are taught differently and cover different types of music. Chamber Choir focuses on traditional college level choral literature, really difficult music. Um, the Chamber Choir music is actually harder than the Northampton music. You can't just walk into a class like this and expect to sing this level of music. It's like expecting to be on the varsity football team without practice and training. Although the two groups have faced scrutiny in the past for requiring auditions, the group and Bo agree that it takes skill to be able to sing this level of music. Even so, Bo says that they are always difficult to run. Um, so many people don't make it, and that definitely is heartbreaking for me as a teacher. I want everyone to have access to everything. Charlotte Harrison, a member of both the Northamptons and Chamber Choir, explained that the audition process is always difficult for everyone involved. Even if you've been in the group in the previous years, you still have to audition again for the next year. It has to be that way because it needs to be thorough so you can have the best group that you can possibly have. And so Chamber Choir and Northamptons has the seniors who are in the group currently auditioning the other people auditioning. And so that really makes sure that you are as thorough as you can be and you have the most unbiased perspective. There are many challenges that come with teaching and learning such difficult music. Senior Claire Chung and sophomore Sam Buell explained that during class, Bo sometimes runs quartets or four-person ensembles, one person on each part, to be sure everyone knows his or her part. A lot of the times we will record our part at the end of class and we'll have to go home and learn it at home, like by listening to recordings and practicing on our own and come in and be prepared to do quartets. It's a lot of music sometimes. It's not short little ditties. It's a lot of multiple page pieces. I mean, Leonardo, what we're doing right now is a mini opera and it takes a lot of effort to make sure that you're going to be able to get through and hit your notes and everything. As a teacher, Bo sometimes finds it difficult to balance being tough and demanding with being encouraging. Um, the music is demanding, so I, as a result, as a teacher, have to be quite demanding in a class like chamber choir, but I don't want to crush people and hurt them. For many students, chamber choir is not only a place to improve their musical skills, but also a place to create meaningful and lasting relationships with other students. I got to be around a lot of older students who were acted like mentors, and I befriended a lot of them, and some of those friendships are still lasting to this day, most of them, in fact. We've kind of become like a big family. It has impacted my idea of how great the high school is majorly because I was able to interact with upperclassmen on a daily basis. It's an amazing group and that's why I picked, we were doing a really difficult piece this year um, about Leonardo da Vinci and I knew this was the year to do it because I knew we had the size group that could handle it and we had a dedicated bunch and the trick is a dedicated bunch. That makes all the difference. The Chamber Choir will be performing on Thursday, May 11th at Helen Hills Chapel at 7 p.m.